Hey guys, Keith here. All right, so many of you would have recently seen posted on Facebook this video by Kevin of an effect that he's created, and I'll just quickly play it here for those that haven't seen it before. Um, it's created purely with X Lights effects, um, and, and the way he gets these hearts to move around in a heart like shape is uh, always something that's impressed me. I do know how he does it. Um, it's all done with uh, value curves and uh, the shape effect, etc. But I, I wanted to um, introduce something to make it a little bit easier to do. So, the way Kevin would do this at the moment is he would come down here. Uh, to the X center and he would start to build out a value curve um, which will control how um, it might work and and then over time that if uh, the shape would move backwards and forwards and he'd do the X axis separate to the Y axis and he'd have to get it all right. Now it's a, it's a very involved process and you want to do a heart. It's very difficult because you've got to think about exactly where everything needs to be over time. It's not as simple as just moving the smiley face backwards and forwards across, um, across the grid. Um, so, I was thinking, well, how do I make this a lot easier to do? And so I've come up with something new here, which um, I call Generate 2D Path. It's up in the Tools menu. And basically uh, what it does is it gives you a path um, which you can edit. Um, and so imagine that this is a 2D space. You've got the X axis and the Y axis. You get to say, well, where do I want this thing to start and end and so forth? So for instance, let's say I just wanted to run around the box. I could go and grab this and you know, draw a vertical line. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Um, to add another point, I come over here and I double click. I come down here and I double click and if I come over here and get on top of this point and double click it will join it all up. So now I have a, a box which starts down here in the bottom left, it moves up, across, down and back again. So now uh, I need to uh, put that into something that I can now use on my shape effect and move my smiley face around and the way you would do that is you would come down here to generate and you'd go generate and I'd say, let's call this square. And notice it's generating it within my show folder, within a value curves folder. So I click save um, and I can close this now. So now I can come back to my uh, smiley face and there will be here um, some additional preset value curves. There's a square X and a square Y. So if we choose square X, click OK, and we come down to Y and we choose square Y. Now what we've got is we've got a face effect that moves around the perimeter of the box. But you'll notice that it's actually not moving the way we thought. We thought it was gonna start down here in the left-hand corner and move up and go across, but instead it's starting up here. And that's because the Y axis here is um, inverted. If you look at this slider and you move it to down, instead of it going down, it's actually going up. So it's not a bug, it's, it's working as you would expect, um, but it's a bit problematic. Now, um, this is not in dot three, this will be in dot four, but there's a couple of ways to fix that now. You can either come into here and just click this new flip button and that will flip the value curve over and now it will work as expected. Um, or you can go back into our, uh, into the generate 2D path. You can open, uh, load those, those paths up. It doesn't matter which one you click on, it'll find the other one. And you can flip the Y here. Um, it's a little bit hard to tell that it's um, flipped, but it has. Um, and then, but you then have to go back and regenerate it, overwrite it, yes. Or good, close that. Um, but now I'd have to come back down here and I'd have to go back and reload um, the Y 
okay? Um, and that's because the, the value curve is stored in a file. It, you have to go on and reassociate it with each of these. Of course, you could use bulk edit if you had multiple of them because you can apply value curves using bulk edit as well. So that's kind of cool, but that gets me a box. What if I want to get that heart shape? Well, things are going to get a little bit more complex, but not too bad. So let's go back to our generate 2D path. And this time what we want to do is we need a heart. So rather than trying to draw a heart freehand, um, let's browse, uh, let's go up a folder, and I've got a heart here, which looks kind of cool. And so now what we can do is, let's say we want to start down here at the bottom of the heart, We'll grab this, we'll bring this up, and we'll say, we'll take it to about there, and then, look, we don't have to be perfect about these things. We'll just double click, and double click, and double click, and oh, okay, well, that's not great. I forgot to go out there. So let's uh, come here, double click on the line. It creates a new point for me, and I can drag it out. Maybe I want to create another one there drag it out and maybe one more and drag it out. Okay, that looks good. We keep going on, creating them again. You see you can end up with quite a few waypoints along the way as we go around this heart. Now, if this heart's a little bit too big and you want to shrink it down a little bit, etc., cetera, um, I suggest you do that in, in uh, your image editing software. I don't plan to make a whole bunch of um, editing tools, etc., in here. Um, if you want to change the image, create more blank space around it, etc., that's pretty easy to do in your average drawing utility. I don't need to build or rebuild a whole bunch of tools just so you can do that. Uh, I'm going to be fussy. Let's move that one out just a little bit as well. All right, we'll come down. Maybe one more. And then we'll come all the way down to the hand, double click, and it's done. There's my heart shape. Okay. Now remember the heart's going to be inverted because we're using the shape effect. So let's flip the y axis at this point, and our heart's nicely inverted. And let's generate. Let's call it a heart, save. Um, let's go back to, oh, let's close that, sorry. Um, let's go back into our value curves. And now there is going to be a heart X, which is a very interesting curve. Uh, we'll click OK, and we're going to click our heart Y, there's our heart Y. We're going to click OK. And now our smiley face follows a heart shaped path around the matrix, which I think is pretty cool. And it must have taken Kevin forever to produce these, these curves. And I, I believe he did it probably in something like Excel and edited value curve files, etc. There's obviously a number of other effects which take X, Y, E type coordinates. Um, you know, if you look at something like um, uh, the pinwheel, you've got an X and a Y center. There's no reason why you couldn't apply those value curves there. Uh, the text effect has them. Uh, I'm not sure does the galaxy affect it. I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. It does center X and center Y, so you can move those around as well. So yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different effects that could take advantage of these 2D value curves, um, and now you can you can create some pretty complex uh, movements. So yeah, 2D value curves. Well, build to generate them, and then you can go and apply them. Uh, have fun, guys. Cheers.